Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph of a ornament of a honeybee on a beehive and asked me how the best way to draw it. And for the one I'm doing it for, I just grabbed a clip art of a honeybee or a bee. Uh, yours actually looks a little better, but maybe you can find it. So he told me what size the ornament was and that helped a lot. Now I've got this ornament locked so I can't move it, but it was three and a quarter by three or something. I'm gonna grab the six-sided polygon and I'm gonna put it right in the center of this. And if you just remember that your the picture is a little uneven, so I'm gonna hold down the shift button and make it a little bit bigger, and that's good. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set my nudge factor on something low, I'm gonna kind of center it I'm not worried about making an exact copy, but I want to get it close to start with. I'm going to grab my pen tool. I'm going to make it eight points. Actually, I'm going to make it nine. Nine isn't listed, but you can type in nine. And then from here on out, I'm going to nudge stuff. So I'm going to make my nudge factor two inches and I'm going to move this over. I've already started one. So I'm going to, I got to go to object, and break, convert it to an object, and then left click, right click. So I've got a polygon. Now you could do this mathematically, and it should work. You know, grab the parallel dimension tool. We want this edge to meet this edge. I'm holding down the control button. And we are 0.52 or pretty close. Let's run this out of another. 0 0.14, 0 0.5147, remember that number. We're gonna change our number to 0.5147. Get rid of the parallel dimension, whoop. Get rid of the parallel dimension mark. Make a duplicate of this, control D, and nudge it over that amount. Voila. Now, I would always test after every one to make sure it worked. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move these out of the way. And if this works perfectly, you can go control D and nudge it twice. Now I would always test, test each layer. Now you got a good layer, you know you're good. But we need three on the top, then there's some fours and fours. So you've got something to go by. Let me move this one out of the way. And, you know, uh, don't even worry about size because you'd always, if you want to make the ornament bigger a little, or you could always do the whole thing. But don't worry about that we got three on the top. Now, you could probably do this mathematically, but we're going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and just move that out of the way. Now, I want to use snap to, to snap these two items to that point right there. And we're not working. Why is it not working? Let's back up here. These are our good ones. They work. Now, you. some of you are gonna say, well, why don't you just leave them welded? Well, because I wanna weld the whole thing. I want that joint right there. That'll work. Now, test them. We got good joints. Now I'm gonna grab those four again, hit the plus key on the keyboard, and I'm actually, I'm gonna have to look at the picture. We need to go one more out. So what I'm doing is going to the inside, test them. We got good, we got good movement. So there's, there's the three, which will take away one. We can already take it away right now. You'll see what I'm doing. And now we need another four going the other way. So hit the plus key in your keyboard. I always like drawing away, coming away, and then going back. Sometimes you're gonna get a bunch in there. Test it. You know, make sure you're still good, and we're still good, because if you don't test them and you messed up, then you've gotta go back. Now we need another four, kind of at that same angle, and there's probably a mathematical equation for even doing this, and I'm sure there is. So there's, there's the three, but one, two, three, four, fours. We've got it. Now we need two and two. 
So I'm just gonna grab it, hit the plus key. I'm gonna go ahead and go out past it with the extra ones. Now I'm grabbing the midsection. No, I'm not. I'm grabbing, I forgot what I was grabbing a while ago. Cause we need to go from that midsection to right there. Now, I'm gonna test them before I do anything with the weld key and we're good. We're real good. So we can actually leave it like that. And since they're welded together, now what we need to do is bring in our B. Now I've got this locked. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of these and I'm gonna, my nudge factor is still set pretty high. So I'm gonna just nudge this over. I'm gonna get my B, make a copy of your B, hit plus key in your keyboard and then angle your B about where you want it. Go ahead and bring it into your picture and say, I want it like right there, okay? Because you can make it completely different. Now, let's nudge the B out of the way a certain amount of times. Let's go and see if we can't grab it and go up to object and ungroup this B and now where our boundary tool comes up and we put a boundary around the guy. Now what you need to do is go to effects and contour, contour to the outside. I'm going to say 0.5 to the outside with rounded corners. Well, whoa, whoa, way too much. Let's go 0.2. That's even too much. 0.1. That's a pretty good contour. Now what you can do is go up to object break contour part and get move this contour out of the way. And you can see it fits our B pretty good. Then nudge your contour up. And if you like that, let's grab it all and weld it. That took away now we can bring in our B and since we're nudging, remember we broke our B apart. So we need to group the B back, control G to group, nudge it up. Now we still, and you could play around with that. You could always back up if you don't like that. That looks pretty cool. Uh, in this picture, they've got a little less definition. Uh, this is a really rough cutter on a uh, laser. If a laser did that, I kind of like mine. Now we need to put a top on and that's easy. But what I'm gonna to do to take the top, I'm gonna to nudge our B out of the way so it won't get in the way when we wanna weld it. And I'm gonna take a circle, maybe that's too big. And I'm gonna put it in position. It's like right there. But I'm also gonna draw another circle to put in the center. And to save me some time, make it a little bit bigger by holding down the shift key. I'm gonna put it, and you see how it snapped to the center? Now I'm gonna nudge that guy out of the way because I don't want it to go away when I weld it. Now I'm gonna grab all this and weld and nudge my hole for my ribbon back, nudge my B back. You could probably turn the whole thing red hairline to make sure you know it's gonna cut. And you could play with this design and, and change it till the bees come home. That's a good one. I like it. Doesn't really matter. It's a little more, it's got two, I just noticed it. the two sets of wings are a little further apart. So that kind of makes a little bit of a difference, but it's a nice ornament. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.